Hello, it's a sunny day here today, so I'm just going to make a couple of modifications to my mini talon. Uh, first is I'm going to put a little carbon sliver across here to reinforce that bit when it lands. And I'm going to actually fiberglass this piece here and on the nose as well, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, so the fiberglass will just be sort of around this general area. Uh, I'm going to keep this wooden thing. I see some people have just taken that out completely. This is actually one that I made. The first one that was in there with the kit broke pretty quickly. And then I put this one in and it broke pretty quickly. But then when I cut it down to just about this high, uh, it was about twice as high before, it just stopped breaking and I put lots of glue in there too which helps uh, and I've just been using it like that ever since with no trouble so I'm just going to keep it at that height and I kind of like having it there because the prop this is a nine inch prop I'd like to be able to have a nine inch prop mostly protected by this thing when it lands so I'm just going to keep the wood and at the front I have chopped off that sort of bump that uh, sticks up or sticks down actually. This is the bottom obviously and there was a sort of a squarish looking block that stuck up here and there was a wheel in it and so I just chopped that off completely to uh, keep it streamlined not so much in the air but when it lands I didn't really like the way that block had sort of a square jutting out bit there that kind of got stuck on grass and mud and everything and the mud shoved straight into there quite well. It was like a little tube of mud inside the nose about that long when I um, cleaned it out the other day. So this is just going to stop that from happening and it should be a sm smoother surface in the air as well, like more streamlined, sort of a bullet bullet shaped nose. And on here I'm just going to put a big lump of fiberglass to smooth that over and cover the hole and keep it strong when it lands. So this is the uh, fiberglass thing that I'm going to use. I just found this at Mitre 10, it was about $40, so I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, the fiberglass really is not necessary, it's just something that I kind of wanted to try my hand at and see what kind of a result it gets and how difficult it is and uh, just to try it really. Um, probably could have just put a big slab slab of tape across the front of there and it would have been fine but um, I'm going to try fiberglass just, just for the hell of it. Uh, and I tried a, a little test piece a while ago and I discovered that it stinks like hell so I'm doing it outside and apparently it's also toxic as well so um, I don't have a respirator so I'm going to do it outside instead um, and it takes a hell of a long time to dry you pour some of that into there and then mix it up and put a 2% of whatever you put in there put 2% uh, drops of this in there I mean 2% of the volume that you put in mix it all up and uh, I think I maybe didn't use quite enough because it took a hell of a long time to dry, about three days and it's still sort of a little bit flexible but hopefully I'll put some more of this in this time and it should be enough. The wind's blowing that way but I can still smell it. God, That's probably way too much. I don't know, I'm just going to go crazy with this this time because I'd say that's at least 2%. About that much, but only half as wide. Well, it looks like I was a little careless with the amount of catalyst that I added. Last time it took, like I say, three, three days to get even, you know, dry-ish. And this time I put in more, a lot more, and now it's like gelatin in about five minutes. Um, and I took my time cutting this piece out because I thought I had lots of time and now I just can't spread it in <laughs> I just can't get it into the fabric, look at that, it's like it's like snot um, so I'm going to have to do this again unfortunately even more unfortunate is the fact that I now only have a tiny little bit of this left this is a bit better I think well, I might have a little bit like not quite enough catalyst this time but I think it will still harden, it's just going to take longer to harden with less catalyst. Is that how it works? I hope so. Either way, it seems to be very touchy about getting just the right amount of that. And it also occurred to me that I'm doing it outside in the sunlight on a windy day. And last time I did it indoors at night with no wind. So that could also be playing quite a part as well in how quickly that last batch dried. 
you know, I'm not totally sure that this uh, fibre was necessary because when I was painting the, um, you paint, paint some resin on here before you stick the fibre down and it occurred to me that if I just put some resin on here it would harden up anyway and give me a nice sort of a crust on the outside of this EPO even without having this fibre but since I've got it prepared I will <laughs> use it, might as well. Gee, it's uh, hard to get on. Well that worked out much better. I think I got the quantities precisely right that time because as I was spreading it out I could feel it getting drier and drier to the point where uh, it's just sort of, you know, couldn't really be spread anymore just as I got everything how I wanted it which was quite good in that respect but it leaves me with uh, more gelatiny stuff over there that I can't use to do this little section on the tail so um, I'm getting a little bit sick of it. It's really kind of a pain in the ass this whole procedure so I think what I'll do is I'll just put some duct tape over there it's it's C8 into place so it's not gonna fall off while it's flying or anything but just to make sure it doesn't rip off in the landing I'll just put some duct tape over there and I will forget about putting fiberglass on the back okay so it's about a week later now and it's all completely dry this bit is fairly rigid it's only thin so it's not quite as rock hard as I thought it might be but that's alright uh, and it's nice and smooth. I just gave it a very light sanding just to take off like the the bumps of the fabric. You can't feel them so much, but I didn't really sand it too much. Uh, so I'm thinking about giving it a little test now, although it might not be the best of times to be doing this because as you can see, we've had a lot of rain lately and <laughs> a good portion of this field is actually just water. Um, hopefully I'm going to land over there. So. If, as long as that area there is not as wet as this, I'll, I'll give it a try now. Well, I'm glad I came and checked over here because, as you can see, there's another lake over there. But even where there's not um, obviously water, when you come a little bit closer, you can see that... Oh, damn it. There is, actually, a lot of water here. This is where I was going to land. So, um, today is not going to be the day for doing this. And probably... Tomorrow is not the day, or the day after, that's not the day either. Damn it, stupid rain. Actually, I just had a thought. There's about a 70 to 80 meter stretch of road here, which I could probably use. There's no wind, which is why I wanted to do it now. And since there's no wind, I could probably manage to land in between these fences on this patch of road. So, <laughs> let's give that a try. Seems to want to pitch down a little bit more than it did before. Just strange, I would have thought it would want to pitch up more. Just cruising at about 40% throttle here. It doesn't seem to have affected the efficiency much. I mean, the little block at the front of the nose that I chopped off was not really that big. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> What I, what I should have done, I guess, is set up a current meter and a proper, uh, you know, autopilot system so I could see the speed and see what current draw it took to maintain a level altitude at a certain speed and then compare that with what I have now and it would have been a more scientific comparison than just taking it for a fly. But this is at least one way to check that it's not going to do anything unusual or dangerous or unexpected. Let me just try a glide in and see what happens here. Gliding. Oh, no problem. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to bail there, but you can see I could have landed that easily. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this mod. Not a huge deal, I suppose, but uh, I just thought I'd uh, mention what I was doing just in case anybody thought it was a good idea and it turned out to be a bad idea for some reason. But I guess uh, one other thing that'll be good to check is what sort of damage the nose takes after landing on this road. Because it's a sort of a, a hard dirt road. 
it's not concrete or anything that hard but it is uh, it's not loose gravel it's sort of <laughs> packed hard packed dirt with quite a few small stones in it fairly sharp stones too so uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens to the fiberglass after landing A lot of people have said that they thought this plane was ugly when they first got it, but it kind of grew on them. And I'd have to say the same. When you see it flying and it's just rock steady and smooth like this for a long distance cruise, it's, uh, it's quite a nice looking plane. It's not not a fashionable kind of look to it. It's sort of a business-like, you know, it means business. It's not just here for looks. It has a job to do and it's going to do it well. That's the look that it has, which I, I kind of like. Okay, sun is fairly well down now. I can sort of see a bit better below the horizon now. So let me do one more practice pass. Oh, easy peasy, man. I should have just landed. Got to get over this wire there. Oh, all right. <laughs> Didn't go down as straight as I'd hoped, but it looked like it landed without any damage. So somehow I, I luckily just missed this wire, which is there to stop the cows coming this way. And uh, also luckily again, I think I just, first thing I touched was one of these fairly bushy tufts of grass. So the first sort of hit would have been a fairly gentle one, relatively speaking. Uh, and you can see the, the road that I'm talking about, it's sort of, it's not really loose gravel, it's just sort of hard packed dirt and stones. Looks fine, all feels very smooth still. You can see that it's had a bit of a hit, but I can't actually feel any um, grooves or gouges. So yeah, fairly happy with that. I forgot to tape this on, didn't I? But. Um, Everything's great, so um, that's good to know. I can land this plane here on the road when it's all mushy out in the, uh, in the fields. Anyway, that's going to do for now. I uh, hope that wasn't too boring. But thanks for watching.